Hello, everyone. Today we will talk about traditional Chinese wedding. Nowadays, there is a revival of a traditional wedding. Many people, even foreigners, like to celebrate their happiest moment in a traditional Chinese way. I will take you to visit the traditional Chinese wedding through stages of engagement, preparation, wedding day, and post-wedding time. Following me, you will know the procedures of a traditional wedding and its customs. The objectives for this unit are to enable you to know traditional Chinese wedding ceremony, and then to understand cultural meaning of wedding rituals, so as to introduce traditional Chinese wedding ceremony in English fluently. In the first session, we will talk about the traditional Chinese wedding engagement. Now let's go. Traditionally, in China, much importance. Is attached to social order and etiquettes in all kinds of ceremonies. Wedding is no exception. People observe a set of rites while holding wedding ceremonies. Among them, three letters and six rites are very famous. The three letters are the letters of betrothal, the letter of a gift list. The letter of marriage. The letter of betrothal is the formal document of the engagement, which is a must in a marriage. The letter of gift list is a list of gifts the groom's family will send to the bride's family. The groom's family and the matchmaker will discuss and then make a decision as what gifts should be included. And then write the gifts' names and the quantities on the well-decorated red paper. This is the letter of gift list. Since we Chinese people think highly of rituals and the rites, it is a common practice for the groom's parents to try their best to send as many expensive gifts to the bride's family as possible. This also demonstrates the groom's family's social position and economic condition. The letter of marriage is prepared and presented to the bride's family on the day of the wedding, and is a document that confirms the formal acceptance of the bride into the groom's family. It serves as the marriage certificate. While three letters are crucial documents in traditional wedding. Six rites are necessary rituals conducted in traditional wedding, without which marriage is not accepted as a legal one. Six rites are: na cai, wen ming, na ji, na zheng, qing qi, and qing ying. Now let's talk about them one by one. Na cai, simply saying, is a proposal. But in a different way, the marriage is not proposed by the groom to be, but by a matchmaker. A matchmaker plays a very important role in the success of a marriage, in convincing the girl's family to accept the proposal. The matchmaker should present every advantage of this potential marriage, such as. The good economic condition of the boy's family, and the mild temper of the boy. Now you understand why every matchmaker is very talkative and persuasive. As a custom, the boy's family will send some gifts to the girls through the matchmaker in this rite. That's why. Among these gifts, one is very special. That is. A wild goose. In fact, wild geese are presented as gifts in five rites, except in Na Zheng. Why? There are many different explanations. Here are two most common explanations about it. First, wild geese migrate between the south and the north according to the change of seasons. Such behavior, in essence, follows the rules of nature. Similarly, 
Marriage between men and women is also regarded as following the law of nature and human society. Such similarity assures the significance of geese in the wedding ceremony. Another explanation is concerned with a goose loyalty to its spouse. If one dies, the other will never remarry. The second right is Wenming. If the girl's parents do not object to the proposal, the matchmaker will then choose another auspicious day to visit the girl's parents, again with a wild goose. According to the Book of Right, which means the purpose of this visit is to get the information about who the girl's mother is. Why? In ancient China, a man could have a wife and several concubines. The wife was superior to concubines in the family. Accordingly, the daughters given birth by the wife were in higher position than the daughters by concubines. By asking for the girl's mother's name, the boy's family may know more about the girl's position in the family. Apart from asking for some information about the girl's mother, the matchmaker should ask for the girl's age characteristic of birth. In ancient China, people were superstitious and believed that if the couple-to-be's age characteristic of birth were not compatible, the marriage would not be happy, and the two families would suffer a lot. The third right is Na Ji, which is to confirm whether the potential marriage is auspicious or not. There are two steps for this ritual. First, the boy's father will place the couple to be eight characters of birth on the ancestral altar for three days to see whether something inauspicious would happen. If nothing inauspicious happens, the boy's father will give the couple to be eight characters of birth to an astrological expert to confirm whether they are compatible or not. According to Book of Change, eight characters of two people can be compatible or restrictive. If compatible, the two people will lead a happy life and will help each other and bring good luck to each other. If restrictive, the two will not be happy and even suffer a lot. That's why in Chinese, there is a term, ba zi he hun. To check the compatibility, the astrologist or expert in astrology usually resorts to Wan Nian Li, an old Chinese calendar. Next is Na Zheng. If the couple to be's eight characters of birth are confirmed to be compatible, the boy's parents will ask the matchmaker and other four women to pay a visit to the girl's family with a large number of gifts. The four women are called good luck women, hao ming po, who are relatives of the boy's family and have a happy marriage and have several sons and daughters. The matchmaker and the good luck women will present the letter of betrothal and the letter of gift list to the girl's parents. Apart from the two letters, bride prize will also be presented to the girl's parents. There is no fixed amount for the bride prize. If the boy's family is rich and in high social position, or if the boy's family highly values the girl, the bride price will be very high. But for the common or poor people, the bride price is low. Na Zheng is a very important rite, marking the real beginning of the wedding preparation. Next rite is Qing Qi. In Chinese culture, auspicious wedding dates are typically set 
by numerological analysis of the date in the Chinese lunar calendar and the couple to be eight characteristic of birth. The date will be an even number like six or eight. And the auspicious time should also be set for the wedding rituals the couple conduct. Nowadays, modern people will consult an astrology book to decide the wedding date. One way to determine an auspicious wedding date is to consider the couple to be's zodiac animal sign, distinguished by the respective year of birth. To start, choosing the year. The couple must not get married in a year of the animal which conflicts their animal signs. The couple may not be of the same zodiac animals, but will likely be similar enough to distinguish the years in which they can marry. Then, choosing the month. The couple will eliminate months that are not compatible with their zodiac animals. The third step is to set a day in which the couple might like to marry and eliminate all inauspicious days within this period. After Na Zheng, the boy's parents will ask the astrologist to consult Wan Nian Li to select an auspicious date for holding the wedding ceremony. The last of six rites is Qin Ying, which refers to fetching the bride on the wedding day. Since China is such a big country with vast territory, the customs might be slightly different. In some places, the groom will go to fetch the bride with the wedding procession, while in other places, the groom just waits in the house eagerly and anxiously for his bride. Up till now, you have learned rituals in the traditional Chinese wedding engagement, which are three letters and six rites. Without these rituals for engagement, the marriage would not be accepted by people. After engagement, what preparations do two families need to make? We will talk about this in the next session. Thank you for your attention.